we've been observing plant uh, soil and uh, plants. We've been observing those. Um, we are going to today observe something else for our terrarium. And some of you have noticed what that was. We're going to be observing and exploring crickets and what it has to do and going to have to do with our, um, with our, uh, with our food chain, okay? So we're developing our food chain. Please turn to page 19 in your journals. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get our materials managers and I've got a tray of objects. I'm going to show you those objects first, okay? I'm going to, uh, you're going to get, materials managers are going to get a tray and on the tray you've got a container. Inside the container is a cricket. Now there might be one or two containers with more than one cricket, okay? You're also going to get four magnifying glasses, okay? Once this is on your table, the materials managers can come get the terrarium as well, okay? So one terrarium per group. your hands are free eyes on me give me five remember we want to be participants not observers okay we're going to observe but we want to take part in it okay good job now the first thing we're going to observe is are the crickets now that's what we've got I want you to uh, think about and I want you to talk to your to your partner, to your buddy that's next to you. And I want you to decide whether or not you think that a cricket is an insect. Go ahead, talk to your buddy. Talk to your buddy. Decide whether or not a cricket is an insect. participants okay I'd like to see all beautiful eyeballs hey, you can straighten that out that's fine okay what did you decide is a cricket an insect and be ready to tell me why okay Isabel me and I think a cricket's not an insect because insects most insects have six legs and crickets only have Okay, okay, so you think it only has four. Does, uh, does anyone want to add to what Isabel is, is saying? Isabel, would you choose someone, please? I... Do you agree with Isabel? I don't agree with Isabel because uh, the, uh, the cricket do, the cricket does, have, yeah, does have six legs and an uh, insect has an uh, actum, actum, Thorax in the head with Okay, good job. Uh, Skylar, would you uh, enlighten us, please? I think it is an insect. I mean, Jalen think it's an insect because it has six legs. Um, they need, like, somewhere to live, like, in grass. And also, they need to, like, have soil so they can dig on the ground. Okay, all right. Well, with that in mind, and guys, you've had awesome in, uh, conversation and... Good feedback. Excuse me? It also has antennas. Okay. Good, 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 
that you're you're absolutely right. What I'd like you to do now, as a group, is I want you to take your magnifiers and your eyes, and we're going to observe carefully. You're going to do numbers one and two. That means you are going to draw. You're going to observe the crickets in your container. You're going to draw a large picture of one of the crickets, and then you're going to use your chart at the bottom there, and you're going to answer question two. Do you think a cricket is an insect? Why or why not? So you're going to have to prove it with your drawing. And don't forget to label when you draw. Well, you have to be able to Wait a minute. He's got two antennas. Wait a minute. What's that thing about? It looks like another two sets of antennas. Can you find everything? Can you find everything on on the? Uh... Okay. I like the way you're starting your drawing. Remember to label your drawings. Go ahead and start your drawing. Finish your drawing, hun. Want it turned around? There we go. Did you check and make sure that it has everything that's on the chart? Yes. You did? Okay. Can you draw it for me? Draw and label label the parts for me. Ah, I like the way you're using your chart to help you with your good job. What you're going to do is, like, you're going to draw a line like this and write what that part is. You're going to draw a line like this and... and write down the word for that part, okay? So you're gonna name all the parts for me, okay? Boys and girls, give me five. Look at me and give me five. Look at me and give me five. I like the way your hands are free. I like that all eyes are on me. Right, Isaiah? Right, Drake? Thank you. Okay. We have, you've been doing some great observations. I'm seeing some wonderful drawings and labeling. You can continue, but I want you to answer number two right now. Let's go ahead and answer number two so we can begin our discussion. You have to tell me if it is an insect or not and why. Okay, go ahead and answer number two, then you can go back. Who like? to share their response for number two. Who has it down and would like to share their uh, share their response? Okay, would you like to take the hot seat? Listen. I think it's an insect because it has six legs, three body parts, and four antennas. I know that because I took a magnifying glass and looked at it real close. Excellent. Okay. Jay, you want to go ahead and read yours? It is an insect because it got an abdomen, abdomen thorax, and a head, six legs, and, and, and four and antennas. That's, and that is why it's an insect. Okay, nice job. Let's give them the firecracker clap, please. Good job. Let's have a seat. Okay. Now you've told me that this is an insect and you told me why. You told me that it had three body parts. What was one of the body parts that you noticed? What was one of the body parts? Yes. The thorax. The thorax. Um, and in a minute, I'm going to have you show me what that is and where it is. What's another body part that you saw? What's another body part? The legs. The legs. Good. Okay. What's another body part? Okay. All right. What else did you notice and see? Isabel? The antennae. The antennae. The antenna. Okay. All right. Go ahead. The little. It's the same by the head. Is it? Is it by the head or is it on the other end? It's by the head. It's by the head. Okay. It's legs. It's legs? Okay. All right. Well, let's look up here. 
I would like uh, CJ, were, weren't you one of the ones I'd asked you to, what body part did you identify? <laughs> would you come up here and show me where that is? The thorax. Do we agree that the thorax is between the head and the abdomen? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Okay, who disagrees? Does anyone disagree? No, okay, good job. That's absolutely right. Who can name and uh, show me where another body part is? Okay, Isabel. Here, let's scoot over a little bit. There you go. The antenna, okay. All right. The abdomen, good job. Uh huh. Excuse me? The wings. The wings, yes. Now that's one thing I noticed that a lot of you did not have. The insects have wings, okay? There are wings. Okay, good job, good job. Okay, so we've identified the antenna, the thorax, the wings. What was the other one we identified? Ms. Hollenbeck's getting on, she's forgetting. The what? Huh? The thorax, okay. Who can name another body part from up here? Uh, Brian, come on up. The head, good. Skylar, can you identify another body part we haven't mentioned? The abdomen. The abdomen, okay, the abdomen, good job. Now one thing, that a lot of you, now I noticed that um, uh, Drake had these uh, on his uh, drawing. And notice there is another extension here. Does anyone look at your, look carefully at your um, cricket. Does yours have this, it looks like a stick on the end there. Does it have that extension at the end? Some will, some won't. Some will, some won't. Raise your hand if you're a cricket. Raise your hand if you if you have a cricket that has that extension. Raise that, raise your hand. You might not have one and that's okay. Um, okay, look up here. Put your crickets down, look up here. Okay, this is called an ovipositor. And this is an ovipositor. What that does, that's on females. And it's a tube. And what that tube does is, is it delivers the eggs. The eggs go through that tube and they deliver it in the ground, okay? And so that's how they deliver their eggs, their little babies, their little eggs, okay? For fertilization and growth, okay? So that's an ovipositor. Now if, I want you to turn to page 19. You're going to answer three and four because you're gonna to look to see if you can find the following body parts on your cricket. If you don't have it labeled on your cricket, please label the body parts, okay? Yes. Um, I still have my question from earlier. Um, what are those two lines on the back of them? Okay, those um, are like Celia, they're, um, they're little hairs, they're little hairs. And what they do, what do you think they might do? help them in case they get lost. Okay, he is right that they're sensors. He is right that they're sensors. So they can feel, uh, and feel, and plus it helps. Have you heard the crickets make the noise when they rub their legs? Okay, that also helps in that too because it's got the little, um, they have the little hairy parts on those back.